I thought to myself, what if there's people out there who doesn't want to worry about the pesky things that your average credit card hacker worries about, like when to go for what sign up bonus, when your annual fee's coming up, and when do you have a big expense so you can go for that minimum spend? If you're watching this, then this might just be you, or if not, continue watching because today I custom tailored a package for you guys, a credit card portfolio that has all the important categories of spending that you can possibly care about. I'm starting a series here on YouTube which is truly one of a kind as far as I know. I'm basically going to be custom tailoring credit card portfolios for all kinds of people starting with today people that's just spending money on essential goods and dining and eating out which I have a good feeling is most of you given the current state of the economy around the world. These setups are meant for people who doesn't want to turn credit cards or chase these sign up bonuses all the time and have like a laid back or minimalistic approach to the credit card hacking game. Or you could be like me and take a hybrid approach because personally I don't have that much spend all the time which is a good thing but then the flip side is I can't get all these high sign up bonuses all the time so if I do have a minimum spend coming up or like a high spend, I won't hesitate to go for the biggest minimum spend at that time for the biggest sign up bonus. However, in the meantime, I can still maximize for every dollar I spend. Welcome back if you're returning and if you're new, my name is Tony and on this channel we focus on personal finance and I noticed 79% of you are not yet subscribed and I'm trying to get that number to as low as possible. So if you're not yet subscribed and you do enjoy the content and want to see more content every single week, make sure you subscribe with the bell and also make sure to support the channel by just quickly hitting the like button. It really helps with the algorithm and helps YouTube to recommend this video to more people like yourself. And with that out of the way, let's Let's go. Because I love food, we're kicking it off with the diner. So these are the people that love dining out and also when they're not dining out, they do their grocery shopping and still get good food. So basically, uh, we're going to start off with the core card, which is the American Express Kobo card. This card gives you five MR per dollar spend on groceries as well as dining. Do keep in mind these membership rewards are not your average membership rewards you get with say the gold card or the platinum card. These membership rewards, you cannot transfer them to airline partners unfortunately. That devalues them a little bit which means you can only transfer them into hotel partners like Marriott Bonvoy. If hotels are not your thing, simply exchange them for travel credits at a ratio of 1000 MR points equals $10 which is an effective 5% person cash back calculating it into the ratio in terms of dining and that is very good but if you're not redeeming it for travel it's at a lowered ratio for a thousand points equals seven dollars which is an effective 3.5 percent back which is still decent but I have a good feeling most of you are going to be using that five percent ratio instead. What about when you're not dining out? Again, for groceries, you're also going to be getting 5 MR per dollar, which is again 5% back. Along with dining, it's going to be the highest available here in Canada. For actually getting to these restaurants and groceries, whether you're taking a car, a transit, for gas, transits, or all kinds of transportations, actually you're getting 2% back. Now I know what you're all thinking, not every grocery store and restaurant does take Amex, so like every good portfolio, we're going to fill in the cracks and the best card to do that for the first category is the Simply Financials Visa. The Simply Financial Visa gives you a flat 4% back for dining. Now that we got the restaurants covered that don't take Amex, what about the grocery stores? So to optimize further, we're going to go either with the Visa Infinite card offered by Scotia or TD and what they have is 3 to 4% back on grocery purchases for those stores, for those grocery stores that don't take Amex. In terms of gas and reincurring bill payments, it's going to be 2 to 3% on gas and 3 to 4% on reincurring bill payments depending on what card you choose. Now out of these two, they both have minimal differences but if you were to ask me, I would just go with the bank that you do bank with because you can actually get these annual fee rebated if you have their higher end checking account which is again free if you do have a minimum balance in there. 
Personally, I do prefer the TD one because it does come with roadside assistance, which is personally, I think it's a game changer. You'll never know when you need it. And when you do, you might be saving hundreds of dollars in towing fees. Alternatively, if you don't bank with either of these two banks, you can either consider signing up for the credit card sign-up bonus as well as the bank account sign-up bonus as a combo. That way you would get a pretty good combo for a sign-up bonus. Or if you don't want to do that, then simply buy gift cards at store at grocery stores with your Amex Kobo card for stores like grocery stores, restaurants, dining that don't take Amex. That way you can optimize your 5% cash back that way. But then there are obviously drawbacks. For example, they might not accept credit cards period. Or if they do, you might not get the points for it. And not to mention it's a little bit of a hassle. Now this whole credit card setup will cost you a total of $120 for the Kobo card because the monthly fee is $10 each. Simply Financial actually doesn't have any annual fee, so $0 for that. And then whether uh, you go with the Scotia or TD, have that monthly fee waived or that annual fee waived and it's going to be $0 as well. So the whole entire fee off the setup is only $120. Now, if you don't have the access to a fee waiver like that, for whatever reason, I would step back a little bit and do the math yourself, whether if it makes sense to go for this uh, last card or final alternative. At the time of filming this video, in terms of the Kobo card, you're going to be getting 30,000 MR points. And if you convert that into travel, that's $300. Or if you use it straight up for cash transactions, it's going to be $210. For simply their bonus in terms of cash back, instead of 4%, you're going to be getting an elevated 10% cash back on the first four months or your first $500 spent on dining. Scotia and TD's Visa Infinite right now both have the exact same offer, you guys. So they will also waive the first year annual fee for you as well as give you the elevated 10% cash back on all categories for three months or your first $2,000 spent. An honorable mention is the Scotiabank Gold Card, and this card can very well replace the American Express Kobo Card because these two have very minimal differences, and to be honest, it might as well just replace it. But I'll still mention this, and then in the future, I'll do a review comparing these two cards since they're very, very similar in terms of benefits and what it does. So there's my credit card setup for the diner, which is coming from kind of a minimalistic approach again in terms of credit card hacking while still maximizing every single cent you spend. Personally, I think this portfolio will actually resonate with most of you because generally speaking, 90% of the population is pretty much spending all their money in these categories, especially given the state of the current economy. So once again, this is a new type of video, you guys. Let me know what you guys think down below, what cards you want to change in this portfolio, what I should do next, for example, for people that travel, for uh, students, for professionals. Let me know what you guys think I should do next. And also, if you do enjoy it, make sure to hit like. It really helps with the channel's algorithm. And again, in terms of subscribers, 79% of you are not yet subscribed. I'm trying to get that number to as low as possible. So if you don't, wouldn't mind and you do enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this every single week. And as always, have an amazing day. Peace.